nothing but love. Nothing but love. hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you can already see i am gonna be installing and reviewing this synthetic hair so if you guys want to see how i install this unit and my thoughts on it just keep on watching so this is the packaging that the wig arrived in and it's from sapphire wigs you guys might remember i've done a review on them a few years back on my channel here is the wig this is what it looks like it is a 26 inch highlighted wig and you guys can see the highlights running through this wig is really pretty so i'm excited to put it on and see how it looks like on me and you can see for a synthetic wig they've done such a good job on the hairline i'm not gonna attempt to pluck this unit because first of all i'm not an expert and also i don't feel like it's a good idea to do it with a synthetic wig but we're gonna do our best to make it look as natural as possible and you can see it doesn't have like an extreme shine or anything to it it does look like a human hair wig which is what i'm excited about this is futura fiber as they say yeah we're gonna see so i'm starting off with the wig looking like this I'm I'm about to apply some concealer because the shade that I want to match my hairline is gonna be better suited as a scalp color for me so I'm gonna start out with that and I'm gonna apply it in the inside of the unit and I'm gonna be back to start installing it I'm also gonna cut off this excess piece here because we don't need it so I'm gonna cut it off camera and I'll be back so guys I cut off the back of the wig that I just showed you but I've not put the foundation on yet because i wanted to see how i want it like what kind of color i want i need to mix it with my foundation to make it match i'm gonna mix this color concealer with a little bit of my foundation i'm gonna use that to blend it in so i'm gonna do it off camera and come back but i'm so excited can you guys see the brown already i've been missing the brown hair and brown hair is just it's my thing so we're gonna see what it looks like this is what it's looking like it looks like it's gonna match me i'm just gonna put what's left on the back of my hand and slightly blend it into it i don't want to be too heavy with this because i don't want to get a lot of foundation as you guys can see the hair is really really fine and it's just gonna keep on getting in my way i'm gonna add some clips but i just want to brush it out first and make sure that it is nice and smooth because we don't want it to be tangled so far i feel like this color looks really nice on my complexion i'm excited because i've been doing black hair for some time now and if you guys look at my channel previously i used to do colors quite frequently frequently but i'll do like the fun colors for an occasion it's not an everyday thing for me anymore like it used to be yeah i know you see it oh my gosh if you guys been subscribed to me for that long you not know <laughs> So I'm taking my Ebon Wonder Lace Bond Lace Melting Spray and you guys probably seen it in my I think it's two videos back now or three I don't remember but I done a review on this if you guys want to go and check it out but this is what I'm going to be using today to install the unit and yeah let's see how it works on a synthetic wig I'm going to start in sections so I'm doing the front piece first And I'm gonna apply two layers of this and this stuff dries really fast so I work quick with it ah, I got somewhere to be nope not today that's okay though guys that's where my bronzer is so I can always fix that as you guys can see it is fixed on I'm gonna do this side first. Guys, I just figured out why it's been draining because you know on the bottle it advises how far to spray it can and I have been doing the opposite. <laughs> That's why it's been draining like that. 
I swear it feels like really strange to do a synthetic wig after not doing it for so long well actually let me take that back because I did the sensational wig about two months ago so guys from working on the other side I realized it's much easier for me to just cut off the lace and apply the wig that way All right guys, I'm gonna finish brushing this off camera to get out all the excess hair and I'll be back. I'm taking my NARS Laguna Free Bronzer and that's what I'm gonna be using on my hairline to re-blend and re-apply my makeup, as you guys can see. And I'm blending it in slightly with the wig. But I'm doing it lightly because I don't want to add too much. Blending in some foundation too. And I'm gonna mix it in with my bronzer that I just showed you guys. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of my Lotta Body Mousse and I'm gonna soften the hairline with it. This is the first time I've actually done this. So I'm just trying to loosen up that lace glue and I'm gonna slightly comb for it too because it was feeling kind of crusty. Let me put a little bit on this side too. I'm just smoothing it. And guys, as you lot can see, I am not an expert in applying wigs, especially when they're new. When I've already cut it and customized the towel one, it's so much easier to apply after then when it's brand new i am not a wig expert you let that do it i make it look so easy and so fast i'm just like one day one day i feel like you could literally leave the wig with no baby hairs if you want to go for the more natural approach you could do that but i'm gonna do my middle part now This is honestly a high grade synthetic wig, as you guys can probably tell. The only thing is, I just wish they would put HD lace on these synthetic wigs, because if they did like the sensational butter lace units, those wigs look so good. I'm not gonna make it dramatic or anything, I'm just gonna do it slightly. I'm gonna spray it down with the Got To Be spray to keep it in place. Okay, I'm gonna cut these pieces a little shorter as well because obviously they're excessively long. So I'm gonna cut it about here. If I can get it in one go. Almost. <laughs> Guys, isn't it crazy how much customization we do to these wigs just to like want to replace and change the style up? For me, I can't stay with one hairstyle for too long. Yeah, I can't imagine myself dyeing my hair this color, even though I really wanted to do my hair this brown, but I can't imagine doing it. So yeah, I'm gonna run my hot comb through it and I'm gonna do the top part as well of the wig. I put a little bit of wax. And I'm gonna be very careful with the hot, or with the, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful with the hot comb on this wig because it's synthetic. I'm gonna brush this through. Okay, here goes. Let's do it slightly. Alright, that's enough hot comb. This is the final look and I'm just completely obsessed with how this unit turned out. What do you guys think? Because I'm absolutely loving it. We got off to a rocky start, you know, <laughs> but we pulled through. And as you can see, this wig looks so natural. I know not everybody is into the baby hair style. So this hair, I would definitely say is baby hair friendly. If you don't want to put baby hairs, then the hairline does look natural as you guys did see in the clips before i did add my own little style to it but yeah i'm really happy with this hair this is what it's looking like close up 
I feel like I've done a really good job for the type of lace that this is. But as I was saying earlier, this wig feels so soft and silky. My only issue that I feel like I will have is the tangling because this is a 26 inch wig. We just have to wait and see what happens because obviously I haven't worn it outside yet. I'm about to go outside so I will do my best to remember to update you guys and let you know how the wig held up. I love the highlights as you guys can see. These highlights are really pretty and I feel like it goes really well with my complexion and this is the other side. The highlights are in there as you can see. The highlights going throughout the whole entire unit i will also include the clip so you guys can see what it looks like how far down it touches me it literally reaches down to my hips and i am five five for reference let me know if you want to see more synthetic random finds on amazon and i'll be happy to film that maybe try out some other brands synthetic wig brands that i've never tried before or if you guys have any synthetic hair brand suggestions for me to try let me know in the comment section down below because i'm always looking for a good synthetic wig when i don't want to be doing the most although nothing is ever going to be the quality of human hair wig this feels up there this is i would definitely say this unit this unit is up there all the information will be in the description box below and i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video as much as i enjoyed filming it don't forget to leave your video suggestions in the comment section below and i will make sure to get back to you guys but that's all for today and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys look at this unit